Hey everyone, Mr. Saurav Mukherjee needs no introduction in the world of Indian stock market. He is an alumni of prestigious London Business School where he completed his BSc and MSc in Economics. After his education, in London he co-founded a research firm Clear Capital in 2003 which he sold in 2008. He is also a former CEO of Ambit Capital and played a key role in Ambit's growth journey as wealth manager. In 2018, he left Ambit Capital to start Marcellus, which is a portfolio management service firm with a very strong leadership team. Currently, he is the CIO at Marcellus, where one of the fund he manages is a small cap portfolio with name Little Champ that has around 17-18 stock in the portfolio. He is also the author of best-selling books including Gurus of Chaos, Then Unusual Billionaire and Coffee Can Investing. So in this series on Ace Investors Portfolio, today I am going to cover the latest 17-18 stocks from Little Champ Portfolio. But before that, I want to quickly help you understand the thought process before selecting these stocks in Little Champ Portfolio. Alright, let's get started. While it is very easy to identify stock in large cap space, it is equally difficult to pick right stock in small cap space. The simple reason is, large cap include your business that are leaders in the sector and have already created great return for their investors in the past. However, small caps are yet to prove their mettle. Moreover, the universe to select stock in large cap is very small. But in small cap, there is a huge universe of more than 1000 companies to pick from. So it's not a cakewalk to pick small cap stocks that can become large cap in the future. And that's where you need a very robust shortlisting process and that's what Marcellus has created to pick 15-20 top small cap stocks with strong growth potential from the universe of more than 1000 stocks. So the goal of Marcellus is to build a little champ portfolio is to identify small cap companies with excellent corporate governance and capital allocation track record along with sustainable competitive advantage built around your brand, that business process and strategic assets. Here we are talking about two key things excellent corporate governance and sustainable competitive advantage. These are the two biggest factors that result in multi-bagger or wealth destroyer. If a company doesn't have right corporate governance and competitive advantage, it can't become a multi-bagger. That's where management and its governance play a very crucial role in business growth. And second, business should have a strong and sustainable competitive advantage over the competitors. This advantage can be in the form of your brand value, then your business process or strategic asset. In short, the business should have a leadership in the sector with a proven track record of right capital allocation and clean accounting with strong corporate governance. And third important factor is of course, the sector should have a high growth potential. So what happens is, if there is a good growth potential and the company has pricing power, Along with consistent improvement in efficiency, it results in good cash generation and the cash should be utilized or reinvested to further fuel the growth. And that creates a virtuous cycle for greatness. So Mr. Saurabh Mukherjee and his team at Marcellus has identified 5 steps to shortlist a portfolio of 15-20 small cap gems out of entire universe of 1000 plus stocks. In the first step, their team perform a forensic accounting screening that eliminate the company with subpar accounting. They look at 12 ratios across your income statement, balance sheet and cash flow statement with 5-6 years of historical data to perform the quality check. Some of the ratios that are used in forensic accounting include your cash flow from operation as percentage of EBITDA, then provisioning for debtors, then yield on cash and cash equivalent, then capital work in progress to gross block ratio etc. Then they rank stocks on each of 12 ratios individually and also rank them cumulatively. In the second step, they shortlist business with above median performance on individual ratios and also pick top 20% stock on aggregate score. They avoid companies that are struggling to cover their cost of capital and are debt laden. In step 3, they do detailed analysis of annual reports, management interview and other report. In step 4, they do third party channel checks with supplier, customers, competitors where they take on ground feedback about the business and also conduct meetings with the management. Based on these steps, they shortlist 15-20 little champs. So overall, the shortlisting process looks very robust. Now let us look at the latest portfolio of little champ from their May 23 report. Friends, before I discuss the stock names, please note that this is not the ultimate list. Fund managers at Marcellus 
keep a close eye on the business development and in case the stock doesn't fit into their criteria, it can be exited from the little champ portfolio. So it's very important to keep a track of the business. With this, the first name in the little champ list is Garware Technical Fiber. Established in 1976, Garware Technical is one of India's leading player in technical textile sector with products like your fishing net, sports net, safety net, then high performance polymer ropes, etc. Its stock price touched a high of 3,800 rupees in October 21 during COVID bull run, but since then it has corrected to current levels of 3,000 rupees. Currently, it commands a market cap of 6,200 crore and a P ratio of 36. Then, second stock in the list is GMM Fodler. It is the market leader of glass lined equipment in India with over 50% market share. So, again, a leader in the sector. Its stock price zoomed exponentially in the past and touched peak in August 20. But since then, it is on consolidation and decline trend. Currently, it commands a market cap of around 6,500 crore with a P ratio of 36. Then third stock in Little Champ portfolio is Suprajit Engineering. It is the largest supplier of mechanical cables to two-wheeler sector with around 65% market share in India. This stock also touched a peak during COVID and since then it has been consolidating. Although recently the stock has shown good uptrend. Currently, it commands a market cap of around 5,300 crore with a P ratio of 35. Then fourth stock in list is Moltec Packaging. It is a leader in rigid plastic packaging with nearly 25% market share. It basically manufactures your injection molded containers that find application in your loops, paint, food and other products. Currently, it commands a market cap of around 3200 crore with a P ratio of 40. By the way, I've also discussed this stock in detail previously. Then fifth stock in the list is Amrutanjan Healthcare. This company is in the business of Ayurvedic balm for pain treatment since 1893 and currently run by third generation of the family. Today, Amrutanjan is the second largest player in Indian head balm category after Jandu balm. It also offers other products for body pain and congestion and recently forayed into women hygiene with sanitary napkins. Its stock price touched a peak of 1000 rupees in November 21, but since then it has consistently fallen to current levels of 600 rupees. Currently, it commands a market cap of around 1700 crore with a P ratio of around 44. Then next four stock are from chemical sector. Sixth stock is Galaxy Surfactant. It is India's largest manufacturer of oleochemical based surfactant and specialty care products for home care and personal care industries like your hair care, oral care, skin care, then cosmetics, soap, shampoo, lotion, detergent, then cleaning products, etc. Again, this stock touched peak during October 21 and since then it has corrected to current levels of 2465. Currently, this stock commands a market cap of around 8700 crore with a P ratio of 23. I have also discussed this stock in detail in past. Now, seventh stock in the list is Fine Organics. It is the largest manufacturer of oleochemical based niche additive in India. It is among the sixth largest global player in polymer additive and among leading global player in specialty food emulsifiers. So both Galaxy Surfactant and Fine Organics are leader in the sector of oleo based chemical, but Galaxy caters to home and personal care, whereas Fine Organics cater to your food, plastic, cosmetic and coating. Since its IPO in 2018, Fine Organics had a one-way rally and stock zoom nearly 10x. But in last one year, the stock has corrected significantly to current levels of 4,500 rupee. Fine Organics currently command a market cap of again 8,700 crore with a P ratio of 23. Now, eighth stock in the list is Alkylamine. Established in 1979, Alkylamine is a leading manufacturer of aliphatic amines in India that find application in your pharmaceutical, agrochemical, paint and coating, etc. Its stock price zoomed nearly 15 times during COVID bull run and since then it has corrected more than 45% to current levels of 2450. Currently, it commands a market cap of around 12,500 crore with a P ratio of 55. Ninth stock in the list is Poshak. It is India's largest phosgene-based specialty chemical manufacturer serving your pharmaceutical industry then agrochemical as well as your performance industries. Again, its share price zoomed exponentially during COVID rally and since then it has corrected more than 40% to current levels of 7,000 rupees. Currently, this stock commands a market cap of around 2,100 crore with a P ratio of around 40. Then 10th stock in the list is Mass Financial Service. It is a leading non-deposit taking NBFC registered with RBI. It is engaged in basically offering your retail financial products for MSME, then your home loan, then your car loan, two-wheeler loan, commercial vehicle loan, etc. 
although its stock price has been sort of stagnant since its IPO in 2017 due to multiple challenges for NBFC sector. Currently, the stock commands a market cap of around 4,000 crore with a P ratio of 20 and price to book of 2.7. Then, 11th stock in the list is Avas Financial. It is basically an affordable housing finance company catering to low and middle income segment in semi-urban and rural areas. This stock had a great rally and touched a level of 3000 rupees in February 22, but since then, it has corrected more than 50% to current levels of 1400. Currently, it commands a market cap of around 11,000 crore with a P ratio of 25 and price to book of 3.3. Twelfth stock in the list is Tarsan. Tarsan is one of the top three labware manufacturing company in India and has a market share of 9-12% to of labware market in India. Its end consumers include your various labs across your research organization, then academic institution, then pharma company, contract research organization, then diagnostic company, as well as hospital. It had its IPO in November 21 and since then, the stock is corrected to current levels of 579. Currently, it commands a market cap of around 3000 crore with a PE ratio of 38. Then 13th stock is Vijaya Diagnostic. It is the largest integrated diagnostic chain in southern India. Its services include your nuclear medicine, then your radiology, then health checkups and medical services. Company recently had its IPO in September 21 at 530 rupee, but since then the share price has corrected to current levels of 380 rupee. Currently, it commands a market cap of around 4000 crore with a P ratio of 46. Then 14 stock is Home First Finance Company. It is a technology driven affordable housing finance company focused on first time home buyer in low and middle income groups that offers home loan within 48 hours. Home First also had its IPO recently in February 21 at levels of 518 and currently trading at levels of 760 rupee. At current levels, it commands a market cap of around 6,700 crore with a P ratio of 29 and price to book of 3.7. Then 15 stock is Prudent Corp. It started with distribution of mutual funds and then forayed into distribution of other financial products such as your insurance, PMS, EIF, FD, bonds, then unlisted equity, then stock booking solutions, property as well as loan products. Company had its IPO last year in May 22 at 630 rupee and currently trading at levels of 940. At current levels, it commands a market cap of around 4000 crore with a PE ratio of 33. Then 16 stock is Ultramarine. It is engaged in your manufacturing and selling of pigments, surfactant as well as your IT services. Currently, it is trading at levels of 320 rupee and commands a market cap of 935 with a PE ratio of 14. Then 17 stock is Vmart Retail. It is one of the leading value retail chain of apparels with strong foothold in tier 2 and tier 3 cities of India. Its share price zoomed during COVID to levels of 4300, but the stock has corrected significantly to current levels of 2000 rupee. At current levels, it commands a market cap of around 4000 crore, and we don't have PE for Vmart as it was in loss in 2023. So, if you have observed something, all 17 companies are leader in their respective niche. For instance, Garware Technical is leader in technical textile, GMM Fodler is leader in glass line equipment, Suprajit Engineering is leader in mechanical cable, Moltec Packaging is leader in rigid plastic packaging, Amrutanjan is leader in Ayurvedic pain treatment, Galaxy Surfactant is leader in oleo-based surfactant, Fine Organics is a leader in oleo-based niche additive, Alkylamine is a leader in aliphatic amine, Poshak is largest phosgene-based specialty chemical manufacturer, Mass Financial is a leading non-deposit taking NBFC, Avas Financial is a leading affordable housing finance company. Tarsan is among top 3 labware manufacturer. Vijaya Diagnostic is the largest diagnostic chain in southern India. Home First Finance Company is a technology driven affordable housing finance company. Prudent Corp is a leading distributor of financial products. Ultramarine is a manufacturer of pigment and surfactant. And Vmart is a leading value retail chain of apparels. I hope this video will give you a good perspective about how Marcellus Group has built its Little Champ portfolio. Now let me know in the comments which stock you want me to discuss in detail from this list. And also, if you found this video useful, do share it with your friends. I'll see you next video. Till then, take care.